Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming the long awaited video that everybody on my other video has been asking me to film and that is my possessed doll story time video. Um, I don't know if the doll was possessed or haunted or just really fucked up but there was something really wrong with this doll. Um, I'm just going to call it possessed doll for all intents and purposes. So without further ado, let's get into the story. Okay. So, I was probably about maybe like six years old at this time, I'm not sure, maybe like five or six. I was still old enough, obviously, to have like plastic dolls. Um, I think I got this doll for Christmas, and I still remember the name. It was called Diva Girl or Diva Dolls or something. Diva Stars, that's what it was. Diva Stars Dolls. And there were these dolls were like these really big powder puff girl like heads and um, and they had like huge like feet like brat dolls did but like 20 times bigger and they have really skinny little bodies and they all have like different catchphrases and the one I had I don't remember her name I think it was like Alexia or something like that she was blonde and she I think she was like you know the first one that ever came out or whatever uh, so I got her for Christmas and I played with her every now and then, like I didn't love the doll, but like I didn't hate it or whatever. It was one was one of my favorites. I just played with her every now and then. And one night, my father at this time he he works in maintenance, and so he had hurt his back uh, while he was at work. And my bed was more comfortable than his bed for his back, so he and my mother took my room, and I took their room to sleep in. So the way my house is set up is on this is the hallway. And on one side of the hallway, it's my parents' room. And on the other side of the hallway, it's my room and then my brother's room. So my parents' room is like across from my brother's room. You can see out of my parents' door into my brother's room door. So earlier that day, I had been playing with the doll in my brother's room. And I just left her in there when it was time for me to go to bed. I went into my room. And I don't know why, but for so or into my parents' room, I mean. I don't know why, but for some reason, my brother decided to sleep in my parents room with me I don't I have no clue why I don't remember at all this like I said it happened when I was six but for some reason I know that both of us were in my parents room maybe because it was the bigger bed and since I was in there he's like well I want to be in there too I don't know um so the doll is like laying on the floor in my brother's room quick side note I know that story times have become like this huge thing on YouTube that like everybody's doing and 90% of the time the stories sound super fake. Like you've got someone saying like the caption is, oh, uh, this is my story about how I got kidnapped. And then you watch the video and you're like, yeah, I was going for a walk and this car was driving really slow next to me and they almost kidnapped me and they never actually got out the car or touched me or talked to me, but I was going to get kidnapped. This isn't one of those stories. I'm telling you right now. I swear this is exactly how I remember it. I put it on my life, on everything. Like, you can strike me down right now if I am lying. Like, this is actually what happened to me and my family. Because I'm saying this because it's like fucking creepy as shit. It's like super unbelievable. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna get back into the story now. That was my little rant. Here we go. So, doll was laying down. Like, I, I want to drill this into your head. She was laying down on the floor parents are in my room I'm in my parents room my brother's room is right across from us I can see out of the door into my brother's room to see that she's laying down I'm going to sleep right mm, you know snoozing away la -di -da, di da and all of a sudden I hear one of her catchphrases by the way the doll had her hand out like this so this is her laying on the ground right and her catchphrase was totally or I don't know if it was one of her catchphrases or if it was just a word that was a part of like one of her sentences, but that was the only word that she was saying. All of a sudden, I'm just laying in my parents' bed and I hear, totally, totally, totally. And I'm like, my, oh, my eyes open so quick. I'm like, and I look at my brother and he's laying next to me and he's looking at me like, is that the doll? And I'm like, yeah, maybe I forgot to turn her off. You know, common sense. That's the first thing that you would think, that you, would for you forgot to turn the doll off and somehow I mean you, you have to press a button for her to talk but somehow she just started talking so I go in there and we turn the doll off go back into my room or my parents room I mean lay down and me and my brother try to go back to sleep again like maybe three minutes later <laughs> totally 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 I'm like what the fuck me and my brother look at each other 
each other again and I'm like Michael and he's like so at this point my mom wakes up and she's like turn that damn doll off and we're just like we didn't turn it off we did turn it off and so she gets up and we go in there with her and she takes the doll she opens the bottom and she removes the batteries she lays the doll back down we all go back to our respective rooms YouTube three minutes later totally totally I'm like hell the fuck no we took the batteries out my mom gets up and she looks and she looks back at us and she looks back at the door and we're looking at her like how is this doll still talking the scariest part about this though she was standing up the doll was standing up I still get freaked out when I think about this like I'm shaking right now like the doll was standing up you guys I don't know how the fuck she laid her down I swear to god she laid her down oh my god okay this isn't this isn't the only like toy that we've had that has done some creepy shit in my house too by the way like I don't want to like it wasn't the only time that this happened my brother this didn't happen to me though so I can't I don't know if I want to tell this story because I don't have all the details because it didn't actually happen to me so I don't really remember everything I just remember what I was told my brother had a Barney doll that was doing some creepy ass shit standing up on his own and everything like that but anyway that's another story for another day if I ever decide to tell it um but yeah, so the doll was standing up. My mother had the last straw. Like, you know how in scary movies, they always, like, those those memes about scary movies where they say, like, black people don't play and, like, they will move out of their house before they stay where there's a ghost. My mother was planning on moving at this point in time. She was just done. Like, she was like, no. Like, you know how everybody else will hear, like, a creepy noise and they'll be like, oh, let's go investigate it. And then the black people will be like, that's my mom she was like hell no no fuck this shit we're not about to have this doll in our house like this so she grabbed the doll and she goes outside with it and we're running after her like trying to see what's gonna happen right me and my brother and so she's like the doll's still saying totally by the way like this whole entire time she's totally totally so my mom's like nope no this is no so she takes the doll and she goes outside and she just smashes it on the ground but that's not enough for my mother because my mother is a very big believer in the devil and demons and spirits and all that so she was like I'm not about to just leave her out here so that her she can just crawl back into the house and possess one of our other toys which might still have happened because of Barney but you know like I said different story so she sweeps up you know the remains or whatever and she puts it in the garbage can in the back and she pushes it outside into the front lawn and that was the end of it we never heard from totally doll anymore she stopped saying totally once my mother like destroyed her um but <laughs> i swear you guys i know like everybody in the comments is about to be like fake because it's, it sounds so ridiculous and it doesn't sound like it could be real like you took the batteries out like how was the doll still talking i don't know i'm just telling you what happened okay so my mom goes back upstairs we all go back upstairs we're frightened like i didn't get sleep for the rest of that night like i did my eyes were just open like this the whole time my mom said she didn't go back to sleep my dad slept like a baby of course he didn't he was not awake for any of this uh, like everything in my life but <laughs> anyway so i guess that's the end of my haunted doll story um i don't know i mean if anybody has maybe I was thinking like maybe the batteries the juice was still in it you know what I mean I'm not saying that like there's no explanation at all I guess but it was just creepy as fuck for a six-year-old kid when you took the batteries out and you turned the doll off and you laid her down on her side and suddenly she's standing up like I'm not joking you guys she was standing up I'm getting freaked out all over again oh my god I don't want to think about this anymore so I'm gonna stop the story here because it's the end of the story anyway but regardless um if you guys want to hear another story time let me know <laughs> in the comments uh, I have had some other like paranormal experiences while here at college um actually the dorm I lived in, this is the same dorm I lived in last year but I lived on the floor above me and I had some issues with uh what me and my roommate thought was a ghost in our room we named it Joey so if you want to hear about Joey the ghost, hit the thumbs up button, put it in the comments. I also just got a new iPhone 6S. 
Uh, so if you guys would like to see a what's on my iPhone success video, definitely hit the thumbs up for that as well. And let me know in the comments. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how you uh, felt about the story. Let me know if you had any possessed doll or any type of just haunting stories in your house or anything like that. I definitely want to hear about them so that I can take my mind off of the crazy shit that happened to me as a six year old child. Love you guys so much. Um, I also want to take a quick second to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel since I started doing this whole YouTube thing. I know I used to thank people like way back in my videos when I was getting 300 subscribers and I haven't done it lately and I don't want you guys to think that I just like don't give a shit and that like now that I've got into the thousands I've suddenly got this big head and it's not as important to thank you guys like you don't understand this is why I try to reply to as many people as possible because it is so amazing to me that you guys take the time out to subscribe and actually watch my videos thank you so much I really really do appreciate it I love you guys so much <sighs> continue to comment and interact with me because I really really enjoy it thank you guys I love you Mwah. see you next time bye I